Who's more influential in hip hop, Jay Z or Eminem? <laughs> Jay Z. Why? Culture being black culture. That's everything from the bottom of what's considered the bottom, uh, the bad places of being in, in black culture and culture. Yeah. Uh, and the highest. Uh, so that's why I feel like most influential in hip hop. Um, but overall, it's, yeah, it's overall. Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eminem. Yeah. This is a wicked discussion because it's so, it's complex in a way. Okay. Like, I think, like, who you ask is the truth you get. I think if you just ask anybody in the hip hop culture, that's just, you know, they'll say Jay Z just off first thought. Like, it wouldn't Like, that's trained to go. Okay. Yeah, like right. Jay Z, just period. Jay Z. Okay. Like, of course. But I think if you leave the country, I don't, I think Eminem did. <clears throat> I think hip. I think Eminem made hip hop bigger than Jay Z could ever did in his career. I believe that's correct. I, I agree with that. So like, it's a, it's a catch twenty two because at the same time, hip hop is a it's an underground world supposedly. Yes. Like at its core. Mm -hmm. So like, even to have the argument of he made it bigger worldwide and like made it this big phenomenon. Like Eminem for Eminem's case is kind of. Not hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's it's pop. It's pop hip hop. Yeah, like you know what I mean. It's like it's, it's just popular hip hop. <laughs> Which is it should be congratulated and. But it's not the core essence of, of what hip hop normally comes from. Because and it, then another catch twenty two to it all. What's that? He a fucking amazing lyricist. Like he ain't one of the ones that's like. Yeah, he ain't shabby. Yeah, you know he ain't, he ain't fucking Macklemore. You know what I mean? No, no pun intended. But he's just not that avenue of white, quote unquote, white rapper. So like, it's weird because in hip hop, he's top five, top ten on a lot of people's list. You know what I mean? Just pure lyrics. Eminem is up there high. That's what I'll say, right? Yeah. But on the flip side of that, <laughs> okay, you can't ignore his his privilege. You know yeah, I mean? no, the, the privilege is there, but that's why he. I feel like he's highly recognized. Like, you know yeah, how hard yeah. it is for a white man to uh, yeah, that's why to I dominate give credit. in hip hop. Yeah, like, to the level he did. Yeah, to, yeah. It's only one. That's why uh, I, I be on Twitter and just social media, and you see like uh, the rewrite of history. Mm -hmm. Like how people, I see people saying now that Eminem was and is uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, like he's an industry plant. I can see that, but that's why you. <laughs> but you still got to. You, you still have to respect it, though, man. Yeah, but you. I feel. I feel no, you like, don't. Have, you don't have to respect it. But you still have to accept it. You still have to accept it. You don't have to respect it, but you still have to accept it. So you would say Eminem is an industry plant. Yeah, not on purpose though. It, it inevitably had to happen. There had to be at least one person. That was gonna break the mold. It's it's for a all white rapper. for the white rapper. Yeah, it's an all black sport, all uh, all black and brown sport. I feel it's planted because uh, that's what they would the industry you know was waiting for anyway. Is. You know what it is once you found them. Yeah, yeah, we've done <laughs> it. We've like, done. We've like done. When Dr. Dre heard that, uh, that when Jimmy Alvin gave Dr. Dre that uh, demo, once they found out he was white, they probably were like, "Oh shit, dye your hair blonde." And we should make the craziest, like take the Slim Shady persona to a whole nother level. Right, because you've already- It's gonna work. Yeah, because you've already seen uh, previous before, Vanilla Ice. Yo, when he said that, seen that shit work? It's like, yo. And Vanilla Ice was clean, clean. Like Eminem is the total opposite of Vanilla Ice. 